So you may have seen in the Facebook post that um, that there was a couple of leaks in the bilge, and it's not through the hull or anything, it's simply through the pipes. This here is part of the main drainage system. This runs through all of the uh, machinery spaces and it allows you to move water from one compartment to another, pump it overboard, stuff like that. This is the isolation valve for it. It's an isolation valve on the aft bulkhead of each machinery space for this line. Now, on the underside of this, has developed a little bit of rust, and there are plans to possibly refurbish the system and overhaul it, so I'm just gonna give that a quick shot, little X, just so people know, this pipe needs to be replaced. And then this guy is actually the line that goes into the ballast fuel tanks. Um, and we, we found that these bolts here, they weren't quite as tight as they needed to be. Um, so residual uh, oil had actually come through wherever it could find its way out. So no need to mark this because the pipe itself is fine. It was just the union here that was uh, a little bit lacking. And this is the other part of the drainage main. Uh, you can see I put a little bit of gold paint here. I was hoping it would be a little bit more visible. Um, so we'll just go ahead and give that a quick shot of white paint. Doesn't need to be pretty. Just to mark it so you know this guy uh, needs to be replaced. Alright, so this, well, this is what my Monday's been looking like. Um, I know everyone loves loves going in the bilge, so we'll do it again. Uh, so there's last week's project. Um, there was a little leak in one of the old mines, so I'm gonna, I will revisit that section. So, down here. Basically, uh, what it looks like. So I got all the loose material up. You know, that's paint. That's a little bit of rust. And I've got my degreaser here, and basically I'm just working it in everywhere. And this takes a couple passes uh, before it's, you know, acceptable. Before you can really consider coating it. So I'm going to do that all the way around, and uh, we'll see where we stand. This is getting trimmed off at this, I think at this level right here, Dan, isn't it? Right here, you trimming it off? Yeah. Yeah, it trims off. Dan's going to take the, the yeah. special cutter there the and cut that all over. Yeah. But we got to get this out and flip it over because Dan's got to weld the port on the other side to keep the door straight before we cut these things out. Because if we cut all these out, the door's going to go flip. <laughs> wow, that's... The last time we cut it out with torches, this time we're going to try and snip all the welds with a grinder. It just made a big mess. And 
made more work than Does it twist at all when, uh, yeah. when everything gets welded yeah, on? Yeah. And it took like a couple months for the, the last door, right? Because yeah. it was the same situation, it's automatic. Exactly the same door. Then they got to cut a hole. I think they got to cut a hole for a... Uh, the the port hole? Yeah, they got to reconfigure where the port hole goes. And... Replacing the uh, day tank piping since we modified it with the appropriate pan so that it never leaks again. Yeah. Okay. There's so many complaints about cleaning oil in the building. I don't know who would do that. I don't know. It's a rumor. It's a rumor. That's right. So once upon a time, someone was, you know, tightening some bolts, loosening some bolts. They were doing some work here, you know, what have you. So they dropped this guy right here. I'll show you this. This appears to be, or used to be, a 3 8 inch drive ratchet. Now here's the fun part how thin that is. And after that got dropped, it would have bounced right down there and it would have plopped right in there. And this guy was actually standing up in a pile of this concretion that, you know, some builds up in these weird pockets. It's just a bunch of sediment that washes in, it dries, it washes in, it dries. And so for that reason, actually a bunch of layers you know it's not a solid material you can see there's shiny stuff there's salt in there it's a bunch of nasty stuff so it's a fun little story there <laughs> 